Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say with hearts of adoration and praise, Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Well, friends, how are you this morning? I trust that you are feeling blessed, that your mind is upon the things of the Spirit, and that you are hungry for the Word of God. Today is July the 17th in the year of our Lord 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of the book of Romans, and I want to begin a verse, and I want you to see if you can finish it. There is... Therefore, now, no condemnation. Can you finish it? If you're like most, you would have said to them which are in Christ Jesus. And you would stop right there. And so if that's where the verse ended, that would be a very pleasant thought. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. But as you have probably guessed, that is not where it ends. It continues by saying, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So basically what the verse is saying is if you walk after the flesh, of course there's condemnation. Of course your conscience is going to be pricked. But if you walk after the spirit, if you walk according to the spirit, if you walk in the Spirit, there is no condemnation in Christ because you are continually being washed and cleansed by the Word of God and by the Spirit of God. And every time that you identify anything that would be considered or even close to sin, you immediately repent before the Lord with a heart that is truly sorrowful, and you do everything in your power to be obedient to the Spirit and not commit that same act of sin again. And this is how you spend every moment of your day. But even prominent Bible teachers stop in the middle of the verse. So let's look at it once more, this being our text, and then we're going to look at a couple of other verses. There is, therefore... Now, no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but walk after the Spirit. Verse 5, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Now, we have many videos in this ministry on our YouTube website that identify exactly what the works of the flesh are. So we're not going to delve into that this morning. But let's just pay attention that it says, they that are after the flesh, mind the things of the flesh. So if we are minding the things of the flesh in any area of our lives, then we are after the flesh, not after the spirit. If we're going to be after the spirit, the flesh has to be crucified. And then we can continue in the verse, those who are after the spirit, mind the things of the spirit. Look at verse seven. Because the carnal mind is at war with God. It's an enemy of God. For it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can it be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Only when we're in the spirit of God do we bring him pleasure. Do we stand uncondemned? So understanding this, reading verse 8 again, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Now that should bring much pause to us in the events of our day, many times throughout our day, is everything that we're doing, is everything that we're thinking, is everything that we're saying bringing pleasure to God? But then notice what he says in verse 9, but you, O Christian, follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, you who have surrendered your life, bowed your knee, opened your heart unto the things of God, you are not in the flesh, but you are in the spirit. Now remember in verse one, there was a condition. 
There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So there's a condition there. If we do not want to stand condemned before the Lord, then we must be sure that we're walking after the spirit and not after the flesh. Well, it's the same way in verse nine. We are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. If any man has not the spirit of Christ in him, he does not belong to him. Now, what this is saying is that if you get around someone and they claim to be a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, but they have a bitter spirit, an angry spirit, a resentful spirit, a jealous spirit, a mean spirit, these were not spirits that were present in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so that is a true indication that they do not belong to the Lord Jesus Christ because those who belong to the Lord Jesus Christ are going to have his spirit. They're going to manifest his spirit. It will be evident to all that they are a gentle, kind, loving, caring, patient, gentle, humble servant of the Lord God Almighty. And so as I've reminded you in the past, I just want to remind you again, be very careful about the things that you hear. Because oftentimes, maybe even most of the time, they are misquoted from the Bible. And that's why it's so important for us to read and study our Bibles, because we're going to see the rest of the story that's not being told to us. And so these conditions that we have read in the text this morning are vital to our relationship with the Lord, how he sees us, and what our destiny will be with him throughout eternity. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so thankful that you spent a few moments with us this morning. I pray that the word of God will truly have its effect in your life and that you will be transformed and conformed into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ each and every moment throughout this day. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, friends, I'll see you on the next video.